Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a remake of a beloved game on the Sega Saturn, Panzer Dragoon. Let's take a look and see if this remake is worth it. Panzer Dragoon is based on a post-apocalyptic world where the people called the ancients have the technology to rule. A race passed into legend, the present day empire uses their technology to take advantage of those weaker and unable to stand for themselves. Panzer Dragoon was the first chapter in a series that is a rail shooter that follows a dragon that can shoot auto lock beams and rapid fire as well. The player is able to turn around 360 with the shoulder buttons to attack those around them. The gameplay will follow suit in all the installments except for Panzer Dragoon Saga, which in turn is an RPG. Panzer Dragoon Remake was released in 2020 and developed by Megapixel Studios for the release on Nintendo Switch, Windows PC, and Stadia. The remake will involve updated graphics that you will try to bring back the imagination and lore of the classic game. This review is based on a Stadia version where I encountered no lag in gameplay and had no issues with the visuals with a wired PC setup. The game isn't too demanding and runs very smooth in my playthrough. There is a new option for gameplay using both analog sticks to steer and aim separately. This reminds me of the control scheme found in Sin and Punishment on the Wii. I wish the control felt as good as Sin and Punishment, but it doesn't. It just never is right and I felt I had to revert back to the classic control scheme. This way I felt better and more control over movement and shooting. The game itself is pretty much the same as the 1995 release of the Sega Saturn with updated graphics. The designs look nice, but I feel that they had a huge opportunity with newer technology to spend more time on the actual world. For the six stages and final fight, I felt that it was hard to get through stage 2 and 3 as they were just very very bland in design. Especially after the first level you feel that you should just see more. This is the fault of remaking a game as close as possible to the original without adding more to make the world more believable. The world itself is dull and uninhabited, or so it feels. I never felt so unimpressed with the world designs as they felt empty and static. There is an opportunity here to push the world with people here and there to show you who you're fighting for and who you are actually fighting. You only know about the people in the beginning and the one evil dragon rider throughout the game. Other than that, there are all monsters or texts that you will see. Even the city you transverse to in later levels have no one running around as if you, they knew the blue dragon was coming and evacuated. Gameplay feels a bit jarring as well. Using the analog stick, I found movement to feel a bit off with no weight to the dragon's movement. When I went back to the D-pad, it felt much better to control. The overall game is a bit short like the original, but seems to lack the challenge of the original as well. I don't believe I ever beat the original as a friend beat it for me. The remake, I was able to beat it on normal on my first try without dying even one time. The game is made on a budget and it shows, with its price at $25 to download and $40 if you pre-ordered the physical copies from them into the run. I feel that there is no excuse with today's tech that the world could have been more lush with people to make the world more alive. Panzer Dragoon Remake gets a 6.5 out of 10 for its underwhelming, bland port of the original. A missed opportunity in my book but this is Panzer with nicer graphics. That's it for me on this episode. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here.